see him. Thanks, Alan. Yeah. Nice. It's a northern spring salamander, right? Yep. I think the Blue Ridge Spring also lives here. I don't know if we're in their range. I think they're just northern in the yeah. Shenandoah, or where we are. It's fine. I had two kicks. Yeah. But they dipped off. Very cool. Cool. Okay, we found another very small plethodon species of salamander. This little guy is actually the Valley and Ridge Salamander. The only way to tell the difference between these and the leadback phase redback is by counting the coastal grooves along the side. Usually, the Valley and Ridge Salamander has more than 19 coastal grooves, sometimes 20, 21. Uh, the numbers vary, but I usually check these in photos when I get home. We've taken a couple pictures of this critter. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back under the rock that we found it under. little guy is the red-backed salamander. They're very common throughout much of their range and there's definitely no shortage of them where we are today. We have found quite possibly hundreds of these little salamanders. They're usually found by flipping logs or rocks. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back since it's not the Shenandoah salamander we're looking for, but we're gonna keep looking. I really hope we find one today. So we've spent a lot of time in the woods today looking for salamanders, and we were fortunate enough to find a small Shenandoah salamander. This salamander is very similar to the redback salamander. One of the major differences is that the stripe on the back is more narrow, and the bellies on these are all black, whereas the redback salamanders are like a salt and pepper kind of color. It is endemic only to the Shenandoah Mountains of Virginia. It is a federally endangered salamander, so we're very, very excited that we've gotten the opportunity to see one of these. One of the interesting facts about the Shenandoah salamander is similar to the redback salamander, they seem to be somewhat resistant to the chytrid fungus, which is wreaking havoc on many amphibians, especially in tropical areas where the chytrid fungus is thriving. So this little guy, I'm just gonna let him kind of crawl along and find his way back underground. But man, what an awesome find today, just awesome.